I think it gives the effect of little stairs, but maybe that's just me. Hey everyone, it's Kato, and in today's video, we are going to be designing a no terraforming entrance. So if you're interested in content like this and you want to see more in the future, I'd appreciate if you like and subscribe, but let's just get right into it. So if you don't know, this is my island, Burgonia, and I'm going to be creating an entire island with no terraforming. So I'm just using the existing map that I started with to design this entire island. And I decided on stream the other day that I wanted to make my entrance a little villager neighborhood. And when I was doing that, I went back and forth on whether or not I wanted to include my house up here and now that I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it all together, I think I'm going to change this out and move a villager house here instead of my house because I just think the shapes of the houses don't necessarily go so well and you don't have many customization options of your starter house and I want to keep this house small. So I do think I'm ultimately going to end up changing that, and Louie is not staying up here. I am going to keep Lolly's house, but I'm going to find two other houses to eventually go here. So try to ignore that. Now another thing that we went back and forth on, because I did begin designing this on stream, was these little stairs in front of Lolly's house. There are several different designs that you can use to have this effect and I tried a couple different ones. I still like the original one and I end up going back to it. Right now I'm just using this different one that looks kind of like cliff edges. I end up going back to the initial one. Some people think it looks like tilled soil. I think it gives the effect of little stairs but maybe that's just me. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments below. It's definitely something that I went back and forth on, on whether I wanted to keep it or not, but I think I like it. So I'm obviously using a bunch of the different items and patterns that I had in my mood board. If you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. I created a mood board for this island. I highly recommend doing it for your island as well. I'm kind of going for an autumn core vibe, but no real theme or restrictions here. I'm just going with whatever I feel like at the time. One thing that's obviously kind of a struggle here is finding different items and placing things so you do have that variation in height. Since I'm not terraforming, there's absolutely no cliffs up here at my entrance. And I don't remember the last time I didn't have cliffs at my entrance. So that was one of the most difficult things here is trying to find some different things to add different height levels and just keep it interesting to look at. So I'm going to let you guys watch me design for a little bit and then I will come back and talk some more about what I'm doing.
So this little area next to Lolly's house, I played with this area in particular for so long trying to figure out the exact combination of items that I wanted right here. And I do really like the way that it turned out. I still think there could be some minor changes to the items over here, maybe add a few more items, but I'm limited on what I have on this island right now and I didn't want to overthink it. So this is what I ended up with. I do like the way that it looks. I also sort of struggled with the pathing in this area, trying to keep it looking natural and distressed, but not overly so. So you're going to see me struggling a lot with that as well. But just a reminder that it doesn't always come easy and not everyone is perfect at designing. So it definitely takes some time. So if you're struggling, just take a minute, take a step back, take a little break if you have to, and then come back to it. And I promise you will eventually get there. So another item that I knew I wanted to add up here were these clotheslines. 
just because it was something else that would add height but not impede the view. That's one of the things I really love about the clotheslines is they're so open and airy feeling but also enough height and texture for it to be interesting. I end up also adding a brick well later and I feel like that really ties the whole thing together. So I'm gonna let you guys watch me finishing up this build and I will come back at the end with the final product. Okay, so here we are with the final product of my no terraforming entrance. I love this. I think once I have the right houses up here, I think it's going to look even better. I really actually like not having any terraforming up here. It's a nice change of pace. I don't normally see neighborhoods at the entrance either, so I like that that's a little bit different. I really enjoy this and I'm so excited about continuing this island and just seeing where this goes. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!